Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Gregory Gage and this is week three of my hair transplant regrowing, recovering situation thing. If you've been watching for the last two weeks, you'll have seen that I had my hair transplant at Vinci Hair Clinic in uh, London on Harley Street. My face ballooned really, really big. Uh, the swelling was intense, but it went down. The scabs have all pretty much gone from my head and the back of my head. My hair has grown quite a lot of the back since I had it cut originally when they like shaved my head when I had my hair done. What else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, this is, this is my hair down, so you can't even tell that I've had it done. Don't know what it looks like at the back, but there you go. That's pretty much the back. It has grown a lot, so I don't know. You might not be able to see anything there now, or you might be able to, I don't know. But I've been sp spraying my hair throughout the day to keep it, my hairline throughout the day to keep it moist. I think that's probably why my hair has gone a little bit curly, because it just grows a bit curly in the, when it's wet. The hairline itself right now looks like this. So you can see that it's, it's going good. It's healing nicely. Honestly, at this point, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if, if this hair is all going to fall out or if it's not. It's very, very soft. I can, I can sleep normally again, which is amazing. I'm so pleased that I can sleep again on my side because I'm a side sleeper. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper or a front sleeper. I want to know because if you have a hair transplant and you are a side sleeper or a front sleeper, you're going to be affected <laughs> for a while. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It's only recently that I've started to sleep normally again. So it's, it's been a while. It's, uh, it's been just under two weeks. So I would I say like 10, 11 days, maybe 10, 11 days of sleeping on my back, like just solid on my back. <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a struggle. I answered a load of questions last week. The vlog has just gone up tonight, so if there are any new questions from that, I will let you guys know, and I will answer them in this week's vlog. I don't think there is anything else I can add right now, so I'm going to leave it there for the day. It's been a very long day at work, and I need to just chill out now, so yeah, I did a 12 hour day today. That was fun. I hope you're having a good day, whatever day it is that you're watching this, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another little bit of an update on the hair situation. Hey guys, it's now Tuesday, so we are quite a few days in now. I figured I would just give you a very, very quick update for Tuesday, for today. Let's zoom in on my forehead here. Um, and hopefully that's, I think that's focused. No more scabs. There's like one little spot there. I don't know if that's, that's been there for a few days now, so I don't, I, I don't know, who knows. We're at a point now as well where I don't actually have to spray it anymore because that's only to help get rid of the, the scabs and since I don't have any more scabs, I don't need to keep spritzing it and spraying it. But I've got so used to doing it that I keep doing it. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I'm just it's like, so let's just there. spritz it. I mean, it's it's summer, so it's kind of warm, so it's it's quite nice just I to have a little bit think, of a spritz. I though, that you doing that all the time has helped it. I think it probably has helped. It definitely it. has. Because, like, you've kept it moist. It's, yeah. So that's why it's healed so nicely. Mm. It's <clears> good. <throat> Very good. So, yeah, my recommendation spritz and keep spritzing. Don't stop. The hair's grown a lot since you had it done, so you can't really see. You can faintly see, like, the discoloration of where they took the hair. But when that grows even more, you're not going to be able to see it at all. That's good really good. doesn't look red at all. It's not itchy at all anymore in the back. Good. Which is good. But yeah, it's very well. Good. That's great. Hey guys, it's Wednesday today, Thursday tomorrow, almost the weekend. I'm very excited. I have no plans whatsoever for the weekend, but I'm excited for it anyway. Uh, there's not much to report on the hair front. You can see it's all healed. All good. I had a weird dream last night that I, I burnt it all. So, definitely not going away on holiday anytime soon. We're going to Manchester in August for four nights. So that'll be fun. Then I will track my progress while I'm there. But that's not for a few weeks yet. I don't know, who knows? I might have a full head of hair by the time we go in a couple of weeks time. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't think there's much to show you on the back either. It's probably not changed very much. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Going good. Hello guys, really, 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 really brief update today because I can't really be bothered to film much. Uh, the hair is doing good, but I think loads of the hair shafts have come out. I'm gonna let Craig film. There you go. I think loads of the hair shafts have come out as I've like washed and shampooed. Does it look like they have? Uh, maybe a few, yeah. Like up here, it feels like there's, there's less hair there now. Mm -hmm. So they are like slowly coming out, which is normal. It's not like the follicles are falling out or anything. So that's good. And then the baby hair should come start coming through at some point soon. It just looks kind of messy. It looks like I've been lying on it all day, doesn't it? Because the hair just kind of fell in the back. It's looking like this. Pretty good. Yeah. Same as yesterday. <laughs> You're getting bored of filming my hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the situation today. It's Thursday today, Friday tomorrow. Very excited. It's gonna be really hot, 34 degrees. That's pretty much all I gotta say. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone, it has been the hottest July 31st in over 200 years. So it's been very warm today. I have been back to spritzing myself like every five minutes just to keep myself cool. I'm gonna come outside to see a bit better. The, the hair situation, very, very bright. Is that better? That's better. Okay, hair situation. I'm hoping this is focusing, no idea. There isn't really much change at all from yesterday. More, I think, of the, the grafts are coming out. So the grafts, I, not the grafts, the shafts, the hair shafts are coming out. So I'm assuming once that's done, there will be, there's a train going past right now. So I'm assuming once all of the hair shafts have come out, the baby hair is gonna grow, grow through, and that's when I'll get like the little pimples where it's the hair trying to break through the skin. So this week, I guess, is, is kind of a week where you just don't really know what's going on. So even that information, I think, can help other people that are gonna go through this, because it's good to know that in the third week, not much changes, and you don't really know what's going on. So yeah, hopefully that information helps, I've got no idea. Um, a few people have commented on the last video I posted saying, am I sure it's 2,500 grafts? And yes, I have paid for 2,500 grafts. They took them out of the back of my head, put them in the front of my head. That's all I could say. And if you Google 2,500 grafts, it's pretty much the same sort of amount. Um, some people will have it spread over a, a larger area, but I've got it in a pretty small area so that it should be quite thick when it grows through. Should be. <laughs> Again, there's absolutely no guarantee it's going to work anyway. Like it says in the, when you sign the waiver before the surgery, there's another train. Not the waiver. When you sign the contract before the surgery, on the contract it says you're not paying for the hair transplant to work. You are paying for the expertise and skill of the surgeon and the, the people involved with doing the transplant, uh, but there is no guarantee that it will work, so. I mean, it, it's gonna work. But there is no guarantee, because sometimes things are out of people's hands. In some people, the grafts are rejected, so they don't take. That is usually through no fault of the surgeon. So it is just a, it's a, it's a, it's a thing that happens. So that's basically what you're paying for. You're paying for their expertise, not a working hair transplant. Fingers crossed, mine is one of the ones that works. <laughs> it's very, very slim chances that it doesn't work. It's like 95% of cases, it works. 5%. It may even be less than that, I don't know. I don't want to give you wrong information, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hazard a guess. But anyway, that's the update for today. It's going good, it is going good. I'm excited to see how it pans out. I will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully another really nice, hot, sunny day. Hey everyone, it's Saturday today. No, it's not. It's Sunday today. I didn't film anything yesterday. I completely forgot. We went to to Brighton. I definitely caught the sun because I'm a bit... I've got a bit of colour in my face uh, that I didn't have yesterday before. Anyway, the hair situation is pretty much the same. I washed it just now and there's like some white stuff there. Dry skin or something, I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's going good. It's been a very uneventful week this week, hair-wise, so I guess we'll see if it changes much next week until like the hair starts growing through. But if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for following along anyway. I'm gonna he leave it here because there isn't really anything else to say. Uh, but it is, that's 
That's the current situation. That is what it looks like right now. Uh, yeah, so around there, there's some, some like white sort of scaly bits. I think loads of the shafts have now come out, and that is going to leave some space for the baby hairs to come through, and it's all going to be nice and beautiful and perfect and gorgeous so if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up i will see you next week for another oh, for for another hair update and um yeah if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of these uploads and have a great day whatever day it is you're watching this bye